Hello. So I have a, a 2010 13-inch MacBook Pro here and I have 4 gigabytes of RAM which is the original value with uh, 1067 megahertz DDR3 and I'm gonna upgrade it to 16 gigabytes rather than just 8 gigabytes which is possible because these RAM modules have zero, uh, 1066 megahertz and not more. If it's more it won't work so triple and quadruple check that this value is correct when you order your RAM, alright? So let's just turn this off and restart it. I mean, shut it down. Let's unplug it too, flip it over. I already have it open because I've been tinkering with it. I already replaced the hard drive. And here, like for, we should take this out, but I'm gonna be <clears throat> uh, bad. I'll just take it out and risk damaging everything, of course. Not so easy with one hand. So, short side in the left side. Number one and number two. And I already tried this with much faster RAM with a higher megahertz <coughs> value. And it will just, the, the computer will not really work. It will. Uh, start and there will be a black screen and then there will be constant beeps with five seconds delay uh, which means that there is no RAM so it cannot identify RAM that is too quick or memory if you prefer that name <coughs> all right so let's see what happens now. This is promising. Let's plug in the power again. I have to say, after I installed an SSD for storage, this boot up sequence is much faster. All right, so time to check the about this Mac. 16 gigabytes of zero, uh, 1067 megahertz DDR3. Awesome! So, I hope this video helped you make a correct purchase decision. As I stated already, this is what you have to look out for. This is what you need. Uh, 1066 is what they call it in stores, actually. And then, if you have this value, <clears throat> you can get two 8 gigabyte sticks in there and it will be recognized. Alright, have fun upgrading your Mac! Ciao!